Hi, it's Brett again, the herbalist. We're into our second week now of doing our herbal detox, and so what I thought I'd do is I'd share with you some home remedies. Basically, what's in our pantry at home and how you can use some herbs and spices and things like that in your own pantry. It's amazing what you've got if you look around as far as um, actually have medicines in your own pantry. I thought you might find this interesting. Um, our pantry is quite a bit different probably to your conventional pantry. Um, what we've got in here, we haven't got much processed food or sort of junk foods and snacks. Uh, it's mostly the things we use for cooking. So um, we've got some essential oils here, a bit of tea tree oil, a peppermint oil. Um, tea tree oil is fantastic, you should have this around your house. Um, it's great for any kind of skin problems, fungal problems, things like that. Peppermint oil, fantastic for uh, headache if you rub it on your temples, it's amazing for headaches. And then we've got some mixed herbs, which I usually have a big jar of mixed herbs, getting to the bottom of that. Mixed herbs are fantastic for digestion in general. I've got a few um, dry kidney beans and lentils there. We've got some raw cacao, uh, a few herbs and spices in there. Um, got some brown rice, some carob. Uh, down below here we've got some bit of almond milk and some stevia. And here I've got this uh, this red grape juice. I love this. And noni juice, a bit of apple cider vinegar. Um, we do have a bit of like canned coconut cream, tomatoes and pickles, those sorts of things, some olives, oats, uh, onions, a big bag of onions. And I'm going to pull out a few of these herbs, um, th these are our herbal medicines that we take, this is my own formula here. I'm going to take out a few of these herbs and we'll just talk about a couple of these things. So um, just come over this way and I'll grab these herbs out of here. So this is my herb and spice drawer. Yeah. So we've got a few things in here which you may or may not have yourself. Saffron which is an amazing, that's an Indian spice, but that's incredible for the eyes and the ears and the brain. It's a really, really strong antioxidant. Um, some coriander, with some pieces, cumin seeds. But what I'm going to do quickly is talk about my favourite ones, which are over here. And these ones I use almost every day when I'm cooking. So um, I've got some fennel seeds there. Now fennel seeds are fantastic for relieving bloating and gas and indigestion. So you should always use fennel seeds if you do suffer with anything like that. And then we've got some turmeric. Turmeric is an incredible antioxidant. It's got about 12 different anti-cancer properties. And turmeric has compounds in it which get into the brain. So it's also known to prevent dementia and Alzheimer's disease and things like that when used over time. So they don't suffer so much in, in India and Asia where they use a lot of turmeric with those problems. Uh, some dried chilies. Now these are fantastic. Chilies are amazing for your blood and your heart and your blood pressure and all that kind of thing. They also can help resolve ulcers in the stomach. So they kill the helicobacter which causes ulcers. So it's amazing for that. Um, cayenne pepper as well. Also I usually use lots and lots of chilli because it's so good for your blood and your heart and your blood pressure. Rosemary, this is out of our garden. Um, rosemary has got another amazing antioxidant for your brain so it's fantastic for preserving your memory and your concentration and things like that. So mm -hmm. And here I've got a, a bunch of cloves. Now cloves you should always have in your kitchen. Cloves is fantastic for resolving stomach bugs. And it's great for the kids. If the kids get a stomach bug, which they do from time to time, you get half a dozen cloves, crush it up and make a little herbal tea for them. And um, that solves the stomach ache and the stomach bug almost instantly. It's incredible. So um, mix that with a bit of honey. Uh, ginger. So this is just poor, uh, pure root ginger. You can use powdered ginger, but the root ginger is much, much better for... Uh, resolving things like, again, upset stomachs, nausea, indigestion, bloating and gas. But ginger also has uh, a compound in it which helps to thin the blood and it's a little bit like aspirin. If it's used over time it's as effective as aspirin for keeping the blood flowing. And um, here I've just got some garlic and onions and of course onions, um, one thing people don't know a lot about uh, onions is that you can use it for asthma. So you get a raw onion, you chop it up and crush it into a little bit of honey and feed it to the kids on a spoon and you'll be amazed how it relieves the asthma. And if you do that every day, quite often you can end up throwing the inhaler away, not you don't need it anymore. I've seen that happen a lot with kids with asthma. And then I guess last but not least is the garlic. Um, and if you do come down with a cold or something like that, you just take six cloves of the garlic and try and swallow them whole if they're small enough. If they're not, chop them in half. Six cloves of garlic a couple of times a day and you can resolve a cold pretty quickly. But that's just a few things out of the pantry and from the kitchen that you can use at home. There are literally hundreds of home remedies that you can make up. So I hope you've enjoyed that, found it helpful. And um, I hope you're enjoying your program too if you're on your way with the detox. 
And what I'll do next week is perhaps I'll just go around the garden a little bit and show you a few things that you can use from the garden at home as well as home remedies. So uh, thanks for joining us and we'll talk to you again soon.